face proximal, proximal to the saphenous vein, and I'm gonna go right underneath, and I'm gonna hit it right there. Oh, 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 right there. It's coming out nice, and then we're gonna start slowly infusing imipenem, slowly infusing imipenem in this case. So this horse has cellulitis in the distal, distal limb. Now what we're gonna do later on is we're gonna put it in the digital vein. The reason we don't put it in the digital vein is because there is a lot of cellulitis right there. And if we put a needle where there's cellulitis, we can make it worse. We're gonna put it here, then we're gonna close it. And we're gonna wait 25 minutes, 25 minutes. And I actually, it's good that he's not putting weight on it. That's very good because that means it's going to start going down a lot more. A lot of times they put weight on it and it's not a problem. It's just easier when they don't. Now I went a little fast, but that's okay because this is a huge vein and I'm not blowing up the vein. You see, it looks pretty good. It's coming back very nicely. You see how it's pushing back. That means the tourniquet is working perfectly. And now my assistant is gonna clamp it with the hemostat. ta -da. And now, it's gonna put it right there. I'm gonna make sure this doesn't come out. Perfect. 